Hey plush fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. In today's video we are doing a little bit of nail art. We will be creating this look here, a beautiful rainbow gradient using mostly some pastel spring shades but with a couple of brighter summer colors thrown in. So let's jump right into the tutorial. So these are the colors that we're going to be using for our somewhat pastel rainbow gradient nails. I've got 12 different colors that I'm going to be using and I have them all laid out here. And the reason why it's 12 is because while I'll be doing two colors on most nails, there are a few nails that have enough for three. So like my thumbs and my middle finger will have three different colors. So that's two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that's what we're going for. We are going to be using all of these beautiful colors, Picture Polish Wanderlust, L'Oreal's Butterfly Kisses, Orly's Kaleidoscope Eyes, Orly's Province at Dusk, Orly's Crash the Party, 77 Nail Lacquers, A Midsummer Ice Cream, Sundays, number 45, Picture Polish Chillax, Lights Lacquer Bikini Bottoms, Vapid Lacquers, Ostera, China Glaze, Delta Darlin, and Night Owl Lacquers Inspire. And then I think as a topper over the entire mini to sort of tie them all together and add an iridescent look, I'm going to be using Enchanted Polish Castle on a Cloud. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I have my nails all prepped. I have my base coat on. I have been using the Ella and Mila's spotless base coat. All right, so to start, we are going to start with the pink on my pinky. That one is Wanderlust by Picture Polish. And we are going to start by just painting the first half of the nail. It's going to depend on the polish that you're using but this brush is a fairly wide brush. I mean, it's not like ridiculously wide, but it is wider. So depending on your uh, width of your nail, you're gonna wanna make sure that you get rid of most of the polish, at least on the back side of the brush, so that you don't put too much on and make it difficult to work with. And then we're just gonna paint the first half of the nail and it doesn't have to be ridiculously exact and don't worry about making a mess because that's why we have our little rosewood stick. We can just come back real easily and just wipe it off before it has a chance to dry. And that is our first half. So we're going to do a second color, our L'Oreal Butterfly Kisses, and that is going to cover the second half of our pinky. And this one does have a different shaped brush. Uh, it is a little bit narrower, but still you want to wipe off most of the excess polish, especially on the back of the brush. Give yourself enough to work with, but you don't want to flood your nail. And then just paint on the second half of your nail. So our middle nail is one that we're going to be doing three different colors on. So for this brush, you're definitely going to want to wipe off most of it because we're going to try to stick to the left third of the nail. And these Orly brushes are nice and wide, not ridiculously wide, but nice and wide. So you want to make sure to clear off a lot of the polish on the brush. And then we're going to try to stick to that side and just go along the edge in a little stripe. That's sort of kind of maybe <laughs> a third. Uh, it's probably not quite a third, but well, well. All right, then we're gonna do our middle color. So our blue shade, 77 Nail Lacquers, a Midsummer Ice Cream is gonna go in the middle of my nail. Again, I'm wiping off most of the polish. I don't want a huge amount on there. I don't wanna flood my nail. Just starting in the middle, I'm doing a stripe up the center. And this one does have a like almost jelly formula. So we'll definitely need that second coat on this, but we're going to come back for a second coat on all of our colors. 
And actually, this one is creating a nice layered effect over the Orly's purple, which was uh, Crash of the Party. And then our third shade is going to be Sunday's number 45 on that nail. And that's going to give us our final gradient on the middle nail or on whatever nail you have the most room to add three colors. And if you have larger nails across the board, you can do three colors on all of your nails and pick an even wider variety of colors. I was very tempted to try to do that, but <laughs> I didn't think I could fit three comfortably on, on my pinkies. I might be able to, but maybe I'll have to try that next time. So adding three is definitely a little bit harder. All right, so now we've got the blue on that third. I'm not exactly doing fantastic lines, but you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so then I'm gonna do two on my pointer and then I'm gonna do my thumb. Like I said, if you mess up, or flood your nails, just come back with your little rose stick or a toothpick and just clean off the area that flooded. Nice and easy. All right, so now our thumb. We'll take the last three colors. So we're gonna start with Vapids, Austera, our light yellow. And actually the brushes on these half size bottles are nice and narrow. They're a good size for this use when I'm trying to do little stripes. Now we're going to do China Glaze's Delta Darlin. And then the last color in our gradient is Night Owl's Inspire. One last color. All right, there we go. That is our gradient on our thumb. So that is how we're looking so far. We're going to let this dry and then we'll come back and do a second coat. All right, so now we are done with our two coats on every color. We are gonna let this dry and then come back for that topper. So we are all dry now. Now we're gonna come back with our Enchanted Polish Castle on a Cloud and top all of our nails. All right, there we go. We are all glistened up with Castle on a Cloud. I think that helps tie all of our colors together beautifully. So now all that's left to do is to wait for our top coat to dry a little bit, come back with our glossy top coat, and we are good to go. So on my right hand, I actually was able to do three colors on every single nail. So it can be done. All right, so here we have the completed look our pastel gradient rainbow nails with a bit of brighter colors thrown in. 
uh, like I said, I was able to get three colors on every nail on my right hand. Um, I mean, the nails are the same size as on my left. Just after I finished the completion of the colors on my left hand, I realized that I probably did have more room on a lot more of the nails than I thought. And then I decided to go for trying the pinky as well on this hand. So I just repeated some of the same colors. So I have the same colors on my pinky and my thumb. Of course, if you didn't want to do that, just add more colors to your gradient rainbow. But thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to hit the little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And I will see you in that next one.